The social media matrix programmed us to view Farrakhan Jones and Trump as existential threats. The same thing is being done to Kanye West. A platform is a stage. Stages compel performance acting. Big Tech and its social media apps constructed platforms for everyone with access to Wi-Fi and a smartphone. Big Tech turned us into actors, inauthentic performers. When news happens, we rush to our platforms and channel Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie, and Denzel Washington. We act out the roles that we hope will garner the loudest applause in the form of likes, retweets, and follows. Over the last two weeks or so, we've all been playing roles in a movie about Kanye West, the rapper, fashion designer, and provocateur. He wore a White Lives Matter t-shirt in Paris. He threatened to go Death Con 3 on the Jewish people he blames for undermining him. He insinuated that George Floyd died from fentanyl, not Derek Chauvin's knee. Social media actors took to their stages and pretended West hijacked planes carrying nuclear bombs. They claimed his t-shirt stunt denigrated black people, his Jewish comment fomented a second holocaust, and his opinion about Floyd's death damaged the legacy of a heroic martyr. Meta kicked him off Instagram. Twitter suspended his account. Revolt TV delete, deleted his Drink Champs interview. George Floyd's family threatened a lawsuit. For refusing to follow the script, the social media matrix is using its actors to justify the deplatforming and canceling of Kanye West. We've seen this all before. It happened to Louis Farrakhan, Alex Jones, and Donald Trump. The social media matrix programmed us to view Farrakhan Jones and Trump as existential threats. The same thing is being done to Kanye West. At what point do we reject the programming and realize it's an outlawing of free speech, freedom of thought, and an assault on truth? can't find the truth without free speech. The rigorous exchange of ideas and opinions unearths the truth. The platforms big tech constructed for us compel dishonesty. Athletes, celebrities, and influencers, and Joe Blow social media users, many of them unwittingly, are using their platforms to lie. Let's use George Floyd as an example. No one outside of Floyd's immediate family and circle of close friends authentically cares about him or his memory. Floyd is a prop, a costume or wig for social media actors. They feign an affinity for a man they did not know, a man that they would flee if he approached them on the streets. Pretending to be offended by Kanye's insinuation that fentanyl killed Floyd enhances a social media actor's brand. Here's what Kanye West actually said about George Floyd. Take a listen. I, I watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. Nothing he just said is offensive. It's not offensive. Anybody pretending to be offended is playing a role. How do I know this? Because in May of 2012, Two Indianapolis sheriffs tasered and killed my cousin, Anton Butler. They did this in the pouring rain. I love my cousin. I helped raise him. He spent summers with me in Kansas City. Several years, I bought his school clothes and Christmas gifts. His mother was my first cousin. We grew up like siblings. Anton was the smartest kid my family ever produced. As an adult, he was a lot like George Floyd. He did time in prison, he sold and used drugs. He had an incredible heart. 
circumstance undermined the direction of his life. Police claim sudden cardiac arrest due to cocaine intoxication killed my cousin. As a family, we dispute that explanation. Eyewitnesses that I personally talked to told a far different story than the police. I've written and talked about my cousin in the past. People have said to me via social media that my cousin was a criminal and died because of cocaine abuse. None of it, absolutely none of it matters. People can hold whatever opinion they want. They are not required to adopt my beliefs. I'm not so arrogant that I believe people should be punished for disagreeing with me, even on an issue this personal and painful. If Floyd's family sues Kanye West, it will speak to their arrogance and greed. The people claiming that West's opinion on Floyd's death is an example of anti-black racism, they're clueless and dishonest. The chief medical examiner testified during Chauvin's trial that the fentanyl in Floyd's system contributed to his death. Anyone who denies that drugs played a role in Floyd's decision to resist arrest and that his resistance contributed to his death is willfully ignorant. Or maybe they're social media actors campaigning for an Academy Award. 